Hi, this is Don Clark. I'm looking for some help setting up a external authentication from a Mac Mini running uh, Yosemite and FileMaker 13 version 5 uh, and also to authenticate ex with external th authentication to a Windows Standard Server 2012 R2 which I know has not been tested with FileMaker but all we want to do is authentication with it. We don't want to serve FileMaker from it. I'm just wondering if anybody's found a, a, a login that would work or a, set, a, a workaround. We've got it set up. Uh, we allow right here um, the Active Directory. You can open the directory utility. You can see we have a directory for us, a directory domain, a computer ID. These are all correct um, or seem to be under login options. Um, the people are all using PCs. They're all logging into the domain with a username and password. They are in groups. We have the groups set up correctly in FileMaker. Um, and uh, we're on here on FileMaker server. This is our directory service. This is the IP address of the machine. That's a, uh, the Windows server. Here is our entry point. Um, if we click this button here, it says directory service settings. Well, our test was successful. And the problem that we're having is that uh, we have five or six different databases that are all leading into a data separation model. And a user can log in to one with his username and password, his username and, and login credentials for a Windows directory. There isn't a server or a person's uh, you know security setting in FileMaker that matches that, so that, but they are able to log in with it. However, they're not able to log in with their groups. The groups appear to be in the proper order in FileMaker as well, by the way, uh, with the most common group first. Um, and But even though this person can you know, log into one database, they can't log into another database that's set up exactly the same way with the exact same permissions and privileges sets and everything, uh, say the same groups in the same sequence they can't log into that one at all. And the other problem is that if they're logged in, you know, into a group, the group is there, uh, they can't log directly into FileMaker by just double clicking on it. it. It doesn't work. They have to put in their username and password for that. So it's, I've got partial working, but not all of it. These are our settings. If these don't look right, if there's so I've tried some of these other options, um, but it didn't make any difference to the behavior at all. Um, here's users and groups. I should say, you know, what we talked over just a moment ago, I'm going to open FileMaker here. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, I'm in uh, one of the menus, uh, one of the uh, front end files uh, that hooks into the uh, uh, data separation model. And uh, if I go into Manage Security, you can see we have a group here. Um, and I've had to change this, sorry. Um, I had to move it around and, and work a way around this. Let me pause. Okay, I had to change this around, but you can see I have a particular person. This was the person in question who was able, uh, now I tried this through external server. It didn't make any difference. They were able to do it before when I had just one called Office Users. Um, I changed the name of that group when I did my workaround, but I had it set up for external server for that and administrators for external server. Um, and back when I had this set up correctly, the office users, which matches a group in uh, Active Directory, was the very first item in this list. Um, so I have the groups in there. They have external server. They do authenticate. And a user, even if they're not here, can authenticate to one database but not another. And that's the crux of the problem. Any help would be appreciated.